Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. We have a word problem to solve today. I used to hate word problems when I was in school, and word problem always frightened me because I could never really make any sense out of it. Now, as I get longer and stay longer in school, something clicked. So one of the things, epiphany for me, was that in order to solve a word problem, you kind of like to think like a... A gambler almost. You assume you have the money and you go in there and you spend the money you don't really have. And somehow the system will work it out. As weird as it sounds, let's take a look. We're giving a cyclist travel at a constant speed, which we're supposed to find. He traveled for 23 miles and then he went home at the same speed, but this time, maybe a scenic route, he went longer for another hour than where he spent the first time and he went on a longer path. So all those tricks coming backward and forward really come down to one concept. And the concept is this. Distance is equal to rate or speed times the time you spend or multiplied by the time you spend. Now, once again, return to our gambling analogy. This equation is kind of like the casino house. All those different method is really just to get you to use this one concept. Casino tries to get you to gamble to lose your money, and then word problems trying to get you to use same thing, same formula all the time. Now, assuming we know what the speed is, let's call it R for lack of more creative variables at this late hour, or just call it R. So. The time spent on the way out, well, of course, it's distance, which is 23 miles divided by constant rate. That's it. Okay, so time out is equal to this. Similarly, time coming back in is 28 divided by r. Now. We were left with a very important clue in the word problem. It says the difference between those two times is one hour. Well, let's set that into an equation. So time on the way in is equal to time on the way going out plus one extra hour. Like we were thinking or imagining maybe he found something more interesting or maybe a bike path along the lake instead of going through the city. So let's plug it in there. We have 28 over r is equal to 23 over r plus 1. Aha! One variable, one equation. We're almost home free, i.e. we almost made some money. So in order to solve this one, I don't know about you, but I don't like equations with fractions. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to legally getting rid of my denominator by multiplying r on both sides. Now, I'm very careful to write parentheses there because I don't want to forget to multiply distributed to one of the terms. Okay, so on this side, I have 28 is equal to 23 plus r. Now, I'm sure you can solve this one. r is equal to 5 miles per hour. Okay, see? just that simple. All you have to do is have the confidence with the borrowed money, aka assume the variable, you can and will be able to make money, i.e. solve the equation. If you have the confidence, use the clue given in the word problems, everything will fit in together. All right, hope it's clear for you. Please leave a comment on YouTube for me and let me know if it helped you or if you liked the video. I hope you did. Until next time, have a confident day.